Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave, and in this video series, I'm going to teach you an introduction into Ableton Live 10. So if we go to our Ableton Live account, we can see all of our licenses for whatever version of Ableton Live we have purchased. So you can see here, I've got Ableton Live 10 Lite. I've also got Live Suite as well, which I do a separate and much more comprehensive course on. So if you do want to learn absolutely everything about Ableton Live Suite, then check that one out as this course is just an introduction into Ableton Live and all of its features. Also on that note, if you do want to demo Ableton Live 10 Suite for free, you can do that for a 30 day free trial from the Ableton Live website. But now going back to the light version, which is what we're going to be learning in this course, I've downloaded that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click it and install it by dragging it into my applications folder like I would for any other Mac application. Okay guys, I know this first installation video isn't that exciting, but I promise you we're going to be going straight into the more fun stuff, like making beats and getting hands on in the next few videos. And then what I'll do is I'll retrace my steps and I'm going to teach every feature and function of live from the very start. So you know absolutely everything about the program if you want to learn it. Okay, so going back to Ableton Live Lite, I'm going to open the program now and it is going to be slightly sluggish just for this first time because it's never been opened before, uh, just while it builds the libraries and configures the settings. So we'll just open this up and what it will do is it will load up the demo live set first. So it's a, a nice sounding live set that sort of shows you how Ableton Live works. Before we do that, we just need to authorize this with Ableton Live. There is a way of doing this offline, but I suggest you just get an internet connection click authorize with Ableton and then it will access the website. You can click authorize and it just checks that your license is valid and you haven't cracked or torrented the software. So we click authorize and then we get the message that it's all ready to go. And now the Ableton live set is going to load up. Okay. So we're in the demo Ableton live set and on the right hand side, if I just make this full screen, you can see we have the lessons panel, which allows us to learn about Ableton Live from within the project. And then down at the bottom left, we have this info pane. And as I hover over things with the mouse cursor, you see this updates and gives us some information about settings as well. So now I'm going to play a bit of this demo and then I'll talk about what's going to happen over the next few videos. Okay guys, so that's the boring installation video out of the way. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the pace and we're gonna start jumping straight into the fun stuff right from the very start. So over the next few videos, the way I'm gonna lay this course out is I'm gonna teach you the very basics to start with just to get you using the software straight away and learning things for yourself in a very hands-on manner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Go into the setup and make sure that you've got the sound coming out of your speakers or your monitoring setup or whatever you're using. We're then going to just explain session and arrangement view very briefly because it's the unique selling point of Ableton Live. It's what sets it aside and makes it so different from the likes of Logic Pro or any other music making software. I'm then going to explain the layout so you know where everything is and you can navigate your way around live uh, quite quickly and easily without having to keep trying to find out or Google things. And then once you know the basic layout, we're going to go straight into some very basic beat making. So we're going to be using some drum racks and simpler devices just to get some MIDI clips down there and actually get you making beats. And this is going to be the, you know, just to get you having a bit of fun and exploring all of these different things. You don't need to know every single inch of Ableton Live to do this. It's just to get you to understand why this software is so fun, why is it so good and why it's something worth using. And then once we've done that and you've got making beats, if you're happy at that stage, then you can just crack on and do your own thing. However, if you're one of those people that needs to learn a bit of software or a program from the very beginning all the way through to the very end and you need to know everything about it before you start, then at this point, we're then gonna roll back slightly and I'm gonna go through absolutely every single feature, control and parameter of Ableton Live. So we're going to go through and set everything up properly. We're going to go through session and arrangement view. We're going to go through the layout. We're going to go into recording audio and MIDI. We're going to go into warping audio and editing the audio, how we can go about editing the MIDI, uh, using all of the different devices and instruments, things like audio devices and MIDI devices. Uh, we're then going to go at editing into the session and arrangement view and look at things such as 
uh, general arrangement and automation. And then finally, we're going to look at exporting. So we're going to cover it all the way from absolutely not having a clue to being able to fluently use every single function and feature in Ableton Live. So that's what you're going to get over the next few videos. And just to let you know, I'm going to do this for Ableton Live Lite, which is the Lite version. So it's restricted with things such as how many scenes you can use and what uh, instruments and effects you have. But if you are interested in learning this for the uh, more complex or more advanced versions of Ableton, such as Ableton Live Standard or Suite, then I do actually have a course covering absolutely everything for Ableton Live Suite. And you can check that out on my website, studioslave.com. So I look forward to seeing you over the next few videos.